Hello there, I'm the Star Wars guy. We are back in the cantina of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. You know how we do. Let's start. Once again, I have forgotten to turn the audio on. There we go, should be good to go now. All right, now we are in the middle of a territory battle. So I'm gonna go in there and show you guys a little bit of that. But before we do, let's spend some of this energy. Let's first go ahead and get that mod energy out of the way. Mod challenge. I'm just doing the third tier of the health mod challenge for now until my team gets a little bit stronger and we can breeze through those later ones. Okay, we got a lot of Cantina energy. That's all going towards Spy. That should put us over the hump for Ahsoka. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, definitely. 629. Nice. And now she might actually be very close. Well, we're probably not going to get five out of five right here. We got one. Okay, so... Next time we get enough uh, Cantina stuff, we should be good to go there. 96 out of 100. Fantastic. Okay, who else do we need? Dooku, let's get you going here. We got one. And we got two. Haven't had to do a crystal refresh yet because of all that bonus energy. Nice. Make sure you're claiming your bonus energy every day, people. Every day. Yes, I will take that for sure. Okay, I wanted to see that actually. So, no speed. Offense down, got it. Yeah, we know the revive and the stealth. Very nice. And we have fleet energy as well. Challenges, pop in here and get some training droids. A little bit of gear. This is the gear we really need from the Moff Tarkin one here. Nice, okay. And we got Fleet Challenge. Nice. We're going to be doing some of those today. Maybe. We tried that and got slaughtered. Try that again later. Might try it again. But not right now. Okay. I'm going to circle back to these later. Because we can probably knock those out. That's not exactly riveting material to watch, but territory battle, on the other hand, that's something that I don't think we've ever discussed. Another thing, notice uh, Ahsoka is very close to seven stars, so I'm going to definitely make sure I stay over a million so I can promote her when she's ready to go. I don't want to blow all my credits on something else and then promote her and realize, oh crap, now I can't do anything with her. Okay, ships, and then regular energy, and then we are into territory battle. Now I want to go to one hard. Do a little Annie ship here. And arc 170 with whatever's left over. Slow day for shards, people. Slow day. You're gonna have them, for sure. Okay. Gear energy. Who do we want to gear up? Poggle, look at you. Yes, sir. Well, then that means we'll look at Poggle here. Uh, get some of these. We clearly need a bunch of those. Ten of them. I love the, the green gear yields are really, really high. Still not going to have enough, though. That's what we need right there. Okay, we had them. All right, now we need a few more of these guys. put in a request form. It doesn't look like they're currently farmable by us. Oh yeah, and the last thing I wanted to do, quickly uh, peruse the stores. Let's see what we got for that. So there we go. We got Newt. Guild store. This one's a big one. Poplu and Sunfock, I will take both of you. And Poplu's ready to be activated. Nice. Fleet. Let's see what we got here. We got Geos... Uh, uh, Ship of some kind went by too fast. Uh, Geo Spy, absolutely, and Geo Soldier, absolutely. Guild Store, we might have enough for somebody. Geo Spy, I'll take that. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's talk territory battle. Ewoks, I'm starting to assemble the Ewok squad, but 
I'm not going to be doing anything with them for now. There's only a couple more I need, actually, I think. Let me see. I promise we're getting to it, people. I promise. Ewok. We need Wicket. Chief Chirpa. Chief Chirpa's farmable on a Cantina node, I believe. So that'll be a quick farm. Cantina farms are usually the quickest. And Wicket. I remember him being pretty difficult. He's on a hard node, uh, and it's a 20 energy node, so it takes forever. But you can get him through challenges and uh, some other ways. That'll drop like 10 shards at a time and stuff. So we'll be implementing that for sure. All right, let's go over here to guilds. Territory battle. So this is the dark side Hoth territory battle. Uh, light side starts over here and works uh, to the right. Dark side, the opposite. You can only use dark side tunes in the dark side one, light side tunes in the light side one. Uh, I hope I hope you kind of all know that already. If you're new to territory battles or have never seen them before, the objective is to three star every territory on your way across for a total of 48 stars. Now you see, we're kind of a beginning guild, uh, and we haven't really got put together a strategy, mostly because uh, a lot of our guild can't access this yet. I think you have to be level 65 to get in there. So, and myself included, like I don't have a team really. So I'm gonna go in here. Uh, let's. Actually, before I breeze through this, let's discuss these four icons. This is a special mission. It's going to award you that get currency. That's what that icon is. Get one. GET stands for Guild Event Tokens. This right here is your, just your deploy. If you go here, you can see you can deploy your entire roster, ships and everything. Uh, well, ships actually have their own territory. I take that back. Uh, and then over here, this is just a combat mission. And that involves uh, using your characters to fight their characters for big rewards. So you always want to do your combat missions and your special missions and then uh, your deploy things here. I forget what these are exactly called. Uh, before you deploy your entire roster into the... So if you deploy your entire roster here, you can't do these anymore. So you want to watch out for that. These are called... Why am I blanking on the word? I cannot remember the word, you guys. I don't, I don't I don't remember what it is. But basically, you have to fill up these platoons. I guess it's just platoon with uh, characters. So again, I don't want to do this because I actually these are characters I really need for the combat missions. But if you have a, a bunch of characters, like, for example, if I had um, like Tarkin, I probably won't use. So um, I can come in here and deploy him in here. Now, once you fill these up, it gives you access to certain things. So this is the Ion Cannon one, for example. So, you know, we have two territories, so we have to be smart. I'm going to be focusing in this bottom one, I think. So the uh, the get one mission here, special mission, bounty hunter only. So I can't I can't get in there, obviously, myself. I don't have any of the units. So that's pointless. Up here, some of the combat missions are going to have requirements as well. So, for example, this is Empire only. You have to have five units, and Snow Trooper has to be one of them. So I can't do that because I have some Empire units. Um, I even have five of them, but I can't get... Um, in there because of the star requirements so three star up here just dark side so that's as basic as it gets so any dark side character so that's what we're going to be focusing down here because this is a dark side mission now beating all four or three however many tiers of the missions the combat missions is going to yield you much more uh points i don't know why i said it that way a lot more points doing the combat missions than strictly deploying so let's go in here now we're going to battle with our squad let's go top down so, if we just deployed these people, we'd be getting what they're worth. So, 40,470. But if we beat this combat mission entirely, we're going to get 345,000. So, it's a lot more. It gets you a lot closer to your goal a lot faster. Uh, now, once we start this mission, even if we completely bomb and die immediately, we still have deployed that 40,000. So, we still get that. All right, let's give this a shot. I haven't done these in so long. I have no idea what... To expect or remember but we should not have too big of a problem with this that guy's kind of fast there we go counterattack him to death Let's save up all our abilities we should be able to clear this four four hopefully obviously i uh, see right there we got just feeding the first one we got more than um what our team's worth um it goes without saying the first levels of territory battle are easier and they get harder as you go along. Yes, sir. Finish the big guy quickly. There goes the taunt. Get some turn meter going. So territory battles are the single biggest earner for 
um, obviously you're you're getting one currency now. Uh, the Hoth battles yield get one. Uh, you may get get two from them. I'm not actually sure anymore. Get two currency obviously came along a lot later with the introduction of the Geonosius territory battles. So those are considerably more difficult. Dark side is easier than light side on Hoth. It's actually the other way around. I believe the light side's a little easier than the dark side. The light side geo territory battle has gotten a lot of heat because of how difficult it is. It's unbelievable. I mean, full Relic 7 teams are getting wiped out on the first round of the first tier. Yeah, so it's starting to get pretty difficult here. You can see these people have a lot of protection, a lot of health. This is only tier 3. So let's do what we can. Slow that guy down. Motivate! Take him down as fast as we can, because they're gonna take us down pretty quickly. I don't think we're gonna be getting through this round here. But you'll see at the end, this is still much better than just simply dropping all our tunes in there. So there you go, they, they made pretty quick work of us there. Okay, so two of four. So we got 109,000 territory points. That's a lot more than we would have gotten otherwise. Now, you can't use light side tunes for any of the missions or platoons or anything, but I remember the word now. It's platoon. You can obviously deploy them in here. So you see with Consular, all those guys are getting deployed. So I did a combat mission. I'm going to see what I can contribute to platoons. I'm going to drop them in there. Go contribute as much as I possibly can. Help us out. Sunfuck, not using you, good. And that'll be all I can do for this round. So then once, you're, once you've realized you've done everything you can, deploy, select all and deploy. Right there, it was just telling me that Snowtrooper's needed in another territory. Do I, do I really want to do that? And that's because Snowtrooper was needed for this combat mission up here. This one here, Snowtrooper, see? And uh, it's just making sure that I know that he's needed for this. So I can't do that mission anyway, so I went ahead and deployed him, and we got closer to one star. So you see, we need one point... 9 million to get to one star. All right. Very nice. This has been a fun day talking about territory battles and doing a little farming. We activated Poplu. Very nice. Cool. I'm the Star Wars guy. Make sure to subscribe below for more content like this every single day. And I will see you guys in the next video.